So very unfortunate news, but Hertz did file for chapter 11 bankruptcy. And in this video, I'm going to talk about what chapter 11 bankruptcy is, how long this could last, and does it run the risk of it potentially getting delisted? And I brought back the old little whiteboard. So make sure to subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. And if you learned something new, don't forget to smash that like button. So let's go ahead and get started. One of the things that we have to understand is that on Friday during its aftermarket trading session, it closed at $2.85 when it comes down to its overall trade price, but it hit overall lows of $1.30, which is about a 50% loss from its previous close. Also, if you guys look at overall 180 day highs, if I'm not mistaken, it sits right about $20 a share. Yes, it is very unfortunate news, but this does happen as again, some industries were more negatively affected than others when it comes down to this overall COVID period. Now, when it comes down to the chapter 11 bankruptcy, this is pretty much a restructure. First of all, this shouldn't even come as a surprise as Hertz did announce, if I'm not mistaken, about two to three weeks ago that they were in the works of hiring preparation lawyers to file this chapter 11 bankruptcy. And the really cool thing about chapter 11 bankruptcy in comparison to chapter seven is that they're at least actually making an effort to become profitable once again, in comparison to chapter seven, where they pretty much just liquidate all of their assets and try to pay off their debts. So Hertz is making an effort to make a comeback with the idea in mind that it does not have to succeed. And this brings up the second bullet point of will it get delisted pretty much what that means is that it will not be trading with these major exchanges so can it run the risk of it potentially getting delisted of course as it's filing for chapter 11 bankruptcy uh, there is no question that they are still struggling yes they're making an effort to restructure but they don't have to succeed so again like we said before it's much easier to make money when you focus on overall direction and the overall direction is in your favor in comparison to try to buy the dip of something that already looks so unfortunately so there's nothing wrong with paying attention to Hertz as as it continues to try to recover, but just expect that it's going to be very volatile on Monday and the days that follow as the overall news when it comes down to it filing for chapter 11 bankruptcy is so relevant and so new. And how long will this last? Well, how long will it take for a company to recover from an overall pandemic? I mean, we just don't know that question. So again, there's nothing wrong with adding this to your watch list and following up with it if it actually does begin to make a comeback, which we can all hope for. But at the end of the day, again, like we've said, it's much easier to make money when the overall direction is in your favor. Just make sure you take that into consideration before investing your money in a stock that just filed for chapter 11 bankruptcy. And that's really just it. I wanted to keep this video super short and sweet when it comes down to overall hurts. And I really hope that you can just view this video as an overall example and at least be able to determine the difference from when a company files for chapter seven in comparison to chapter 11 bankruptcy. So they are making an effort to restructure. It does run the potential risk of it potentially getting delisted if it's over overall restructure does not succeed. So just expect that yes, it wouldn't be much of a surprise if the overall price does continue to trade towards zero. And then how long will this last? Well, there is no telling of how long this could potentially last, especially coming from a downfall of something that is so new as this overall pandemic. So let me know in the comments if I miss anything. But again, I really do appreciate your guys' time. I'm excited to follow up with Hertz and its overall progress in effort to actually restructure and make a recovery for the greatest comeback of all time. Like always team, continue working hard, continue following and dreams let your passion be what drives your success we would love to stay connected we do run the largest youtube channel and the largest private facebook group in the world for those who invest in the stock market if you want to stay connected you can join our free facebook group and it's that first link down below i really do appreciate your guys' time i hope that you guys smash that like button and that this video just gets you one step closer to your overall goals like I always team let's make sure that we in the year on our green now take it easy